thanks for checking out our video on Microsoft IIS 7 and Windows Server 2008. Here we go with the nine simple steps you're going to need to take. First, log into your server as an administrative user. Next, click on Start, then Server Manager. Now open Roles, then Web Server IIS, and click on Internet Information Server. In the IIS Manager, click on the name of the server. Next, in the Features View window, double-click on Server Certificates. Now, in the Actions pane on the far right-hand side, you're going to want to click Create Certificate Request. Now you'll need to fill out the Distinguished Name Properties form with details that are specific to the domain name you're wanting to secure. The first entry is your Common Name field. This is where you'll put the domain name you wish to cover. For single domain certificates, www will automatically be added to any domain you list in the common name field. So if you're wanting to cover domain.com and www.domain.com, just put your own domain.com in the common name field. If you're purchasing a wildcard certificate, then please put star.domain.com in there. In our example, we're using ssltools.com. Please be sure to use your domain name here. The second field is Organization. If you're not a business, then I recommend simply putting your domain name in this field as well. If you are a business, then please put your business name in this field. In this example, we're using SSL Corporation, the company that owns SSLTools.com. The third field is Organizational Unit. This field would be a good place to put your DBA name if you're a corporation with a DBA for this specific project or you can safely leave this field blank. In our example, we're using SSLTools.com since this is not directly related to SSL.com. The fourth, fifth, and sixth fields are city or locality, state or province, and country or region. This should be the location of your business or home, not the location where the website is hosted. For our example, we'll use the location information related to SSL Corp's home offices. The cryptographic service provider should be kept at its default of Microsoft RSA S-Channel cryptographic provider, and the bit length should be 2048 or higher. Now you simply need to save the certificate request. We recommend naming the file in the format ssl underscore com dot csr dot txt. And there you go. Thanks for watching this video. And be sure to check out our sister video for installing and binding the certificate in IIS 7. Stay secure.